here is Rudy freelancing, and by freelancing, lancing for free, because he's lancing for Donald Trump. This is Rudy freelancing right after the jury returned its $83.3 million verdict in favor of E. Jean Carroll. Here is Rudy attacking the judge. Well, the judge is a disgrace to the greatest court in America. Oh, says the judge is a disgrace. See, I, I, I think I know why Rudy is saying that about Judge Lewis Kaplan. Uh, he is a disgrace. Uh, back in 2014, Judge Lewis Kaplan threw out a lawsuit filed against Chevron by villagers in Ecuador's Lago Agria region who sued Chevron for water and soil contamination. But Judge Kaplan slapped their attorney, Stephen Donziger, with criminal contempt. And instead of Chevron executives going to prison, Stephen Donziger ended up in jail for six months. So I guess that's why Giuliani called Judge Lewis Kaplan a disgrace, because he is a disgrace. Good on you, Rudy. Continue. Please, please continue. This judge is a pure disgrace. He's telling, he's telling a lawyer what questions to ask. That's totally ridiculous. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Rudy isn't talking about Judge Kaplan ruling in favor of Chevron and against the Ecuadorian villagers and their lawyer. Rudy's talking about the E. Jean Carroll trial. Uh, go ahead, Rudy. He won't let him defend himself? He won't let Trump defend himself. That's what Rudy is saying. Because that trial, Rudy, was last year where Trump refused to testify. Last year was the trial about the rape, and Trump was too chicken shit to take the stand, and he lost the case. And last week, Judge Kaplan explained to the jury and Donald Trump and Alina Haba that the entire purpose of this trial was to determine damages. The judge said, Trump, we already found Trump guilty of rape and defamation. This is all about how much does he have to pay? And the judge literally said, I won't allow you to turn this courtroom into a campaign rally. But it does seem only fair for it to become a campaign rally since Trump's stupid donors are footing the bill for his defense. That's what it was. Alina Haba really did turn it into a campaign rally. Go ahead, disgraced pauper Rudy Giuliani. Uh, and, and, and how is it inconsistent? Let's say, let's say he was, first of all, he was, he was found not guilty or not liable for rape. It was sexual assault, not rape. Okay. Wow. It was sexual assault, not rape. Uh, okay, so that's not true. The trial took place inside a federal courtroom, and according to federal law, any penetration of a woman's or her without consent is rape. It can be with a man's, his finger, his tongue, although unlikely with Trump, I don't think he's going to be doing anything with his tongue, or an inanimate object. Fatty Arbuckle was wrongly convicted in San Francisco for allegedly using a Coke bottle. That is the definition of rape inside a federal courtroom. Penetration without consent. Doesn't matter what you use to penetrate. The judge wrote three times that Trump was found guilty of rape in common law parlance, so that the jury found him guilty of sexual assault because that was the only decision they were allowed to reach based on the limitations provided by the Adults Survivor Act, which was passed in New York State, allowing a brief one-year window for the statute of limitations on sexual assault to be lifted so victims could sue in civil court. Rudy is also being sued for rape. But look at how Rudy Giuliani lies. 
uh, and, and, and how is it inconsistent? Let's say, let's say he was, first of all, he was, he was found not guilty or not liable for rape. It was sexual assault, not rape. It was sexual assault. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, uh, he thinks sexual assault sounds better than rape. And that's what some of my Trump supporters who listen have written to me. It wasn't rape. It was sexual. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 it's just you shouldn't laugh at ignorance. It wasn't rape. It was sexual assault. That's how they defend Trump. It wasn't rape. It was sexual assault. Well, my Trump listeners, sexual assault. I don't know if anybody ever told you this. Uh, in incel land, I know you're mostly involuntary celibate. So, uh, but sexual assault is rape. Okay, I'm I'm trying to be your friend here. Forced sexual penetration, no matter how slight, is rape. Sexual assault is rape. They're synonymous. You know who knows they're synonymous? Women, and any guy not being accused of rape. Well, here is Rudy defending Trump on the defamation charges. You can be you can be uh, guilty of rape, and still a person can be a wacko. Yeah, that's what he, that's what he's. Uh, uh, that was a defamation. You're allowed to still defend yourself against defamation. So he's saying Trump. He, you know, Trump. Even if he did rape her. Uh, Agent Carroll could be a wacko, so that wasn't defamation. Uh, well, uh, I don't know if anyone told you this, Rudy, uh, but the only thing more traumatic than sex with you or Donald Trump would be getting raped by you or Donald Trump. Calling somebody a wacko, calling Agent Carroll a wacko, uh, people never fully recover from rape. And they deal with rape in a whole host of ways, from trivializing sex to never again being able to be intimate with anybody for the rest of her life. And I think that's what happened to E. Jean Carroll. I don't want to go over E. Jean Carroll's testimony. She's not wacko. She is damaged because Donald Trump raped her. And I hate that I have to discuss this. Because I don't want to come across as the guy who's in touch with women's feelings, because I'm not. The reason I've been divorced so many times is I don't give a shit what women are feeling or thinking. I don't care what anyone is feeling or thinking. I just want to be left alone. I just want to be left alone in my bubble. I don't want to know how your day went or how Susie look, looked at you the wrong way at the office. I don't care how you, Susie at the office, or anybody feels. So I don't want to be the guy who's, you know, Mr. Sensitivity, because I'm not. However, there is a breed of men out there who are monsters. Rudy Giuliani is a monster when it comes to women. And Donald Trump, most definitely, is a monster. And uh, there are young men who look up to, to these guys. There are men right now who see Donald Trump as a role model. There are 16-year-old boys on Facebook right now saying, it wasn't rape, it was sexual assault. And there's nobody in their life to tell them how stupid they are for saying that, how ignorant they are for saying that, and how dangerous they are for thinking that. <laughs> Time right now of the David Feldman Show. So get your-